between the charges plus q and minus q is 2l okay and minus plus 2q and minus 2q is 4l the electrostatic potential at point p at a distance r from the center o is this much where the value of alpha is okay so ab dekhiye dhyan se pehle sabse pehle potential ka hum log formula formula dekhte hain ye diagram acche se aap note down kar lijiye kyunki this diagram is like hai na electric field due to a dipole and electric potential due to a dipole ka ye summary hai तो पोटेंशियल देखिए ध्यान से क्या है के पी कॉस थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर पी इज द इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल मोमेंट व्हिच इज क्यू इनटू डी के इज वन बाय फोर बाय एप्सिल नॉट एंड थीटा इज इंपॉर्टेंट हियर इफ यू सी थीटा इज द एंगल फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव क्यू चार्ज ओके एंड आर इज द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द Uh, center of the dipole okay so now uh, let us go ahead okay so here if you see there are two dipoles minus q and plus q is one dipole and plus 2q and minus 2q is the another is the another dipole so therefore now we have to find out the electric electrostatic potential so uh, for the minus q and plus q dipole okay the potential is going to be uh, kp cos theta by r square so k into p which is q into 2l into cos theta which is cos 60 degree okay divided by r square for the plus 2q and minus 2q dipole it is going to be potential is going to be k into 2q into 4l which is the dipole moment into cos of this is 120 degree because uh, the theta is taken from the positive now here here also we can see that uh, the theta is being taken from the positive charge okay so so it's like this divided by this is also r square okay now the potential is a scalar quantity and it's going to be algebraically added so therefore v total is equal to v1 plus v2 which is equal to k q l by r square into 2 into cos 60 is 2 into 1 by 2 plus it's 8 into cos of 120 degree which is um, cos 1 120 degrees minus half so this is minus half so this is 4 this is 1 okay so minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 so minus 3 k q l divided by r square now uh, we should take K as nine into ten to the power nine, so minus twenty seven into ten to the power nine, Q into L divided by R square. So if you see Q L by R square is there, ten to the power nine is also there. So therefore alpha should be twenty seven. So therefore the value of alpha is twenty seven. Thank you.